Hey, how's it going? In this video, I'm building a data enrichment tool using Airtable, Captain Data, and Make. I've been playing around with a bit of software called Clay, and Clay is a data enrichment tool, and I thought, oh, this looks like Airtable. I wonder if I can build a version of. So I'll show you how this works briefly. Clay works based on data points. You can enrich pretty much anything. You can build your own table and enrich it. Real smart bit of software, like how it works. So for example, I can grab my LinkedIn and I can paste it into here. And then Clay will then queue up a job and it will look for who I am and it will bring back all of the data points associated to me. So I thought, what if I could build this myself with the tools I already have? I don't want to pay for a new bit of software when I already have plenty. So. I've got Airtable set up. I've called my version called Mud, um, you know, Clay and Mud. Um, and from here, I can look up a company name. So if I've got a company name, I can add in mine. And I'll add in my friends, Steven, called Crow Lady. And we'll just put in another one. We'll just do Ford, as in like the motor company called Ford. From here, if I press Enrich, this will then send these three companies to make and this looks a little bit like this so i've got Airtable set up this is running every one minute to look for new jobs and i've got a trigger field called enrich time i've got a hidden field here which is called enrich time and what this does is when i click the check mark it will change the time so 317 is the time i checked it and this will trigger the make scenario and everything else will run. To keep this looking tidy, I just hide this field like this. So from here, the job goes to Captain Data. I bought this on a lifetime deal, so this doesn't cost me anything at all, which is nice. Uh, you could use something like Phantom Master, or if you can afford it, something like Clearbit, um, you know, any kind of data enrichment tool. Um, if it has an API, you could do an HTTP request, exactly the same thing that's happened here. Captain Days have just built a module, which is really useful. So I am passing in the Airtable results, which was the company name here. And this goes into here. So this is doing a Google search for the company using Captain Data. It's going to use a custom search, which is through my Promily account. And then it's going to use my LinkedIn to find the details, to go on LinkedIn, to grab the data, bring it back and paste it back into Airtable. This job here is running from this scenario here. If we launch the workflow, this is identical. You can see here, Google search query, and then we've got extract company profile. I'm just running it through make instead of captain data, but it's using what I've already set up. From here, I've got a sleep. Now this is important. Clay runs really fast. I can't beat the speed, which is frustrating. I'm trying to find a way that I can make data enrichment faster. Not because I need data immediately, just to kind of figure out how they do it. They are probably doing API calls to the software they have integrated. So maybe they're using Clearbit, which has a faster processing speed than Captain Data. Captain Data is quick, you know, you can't moan, but you know, if I can get it faster, I will. From here, so this will sleep for 45 seconds to let the job run sufficiently. If it runs faster, when I collect the results, sometimes it hasn't completed and may call error. So all in all, each one contact I put into Airtable takes around about 45 seconds to return the information back to me, which isn't bad at all. So from here, I grab the job UID. When this runs, it will generate a job if we go to here and we go back one and you can see we've got a job UID here. So you can see Primarily, Grow, Leedy and Ford have all ran and complete. The job is complete. So if we go back to Airtable, the data is here waiting for me, which is pretty good. So we've got Primarily, it's told me a bit about the platform I built and the location is London. That's where our post address is. Company size, two to 10, that's accurate. Founder date, 2014. Website is correct. Although well, it's bought back the insecure website link, which is odd, and it's bought back a company logo, uh, which is accurate. Then we got my friend Stephen, which is Grow Leedy, and this is correct as well. Correct website, and his logo, 
And then we've got Ford Motor Company. So we all know what Ford is about. And they've got over 10,000 employees, which is ridiculous if you think about it. And their logo as well. So in Make, this is grabbing the job results. And then it's just mapping the fields back into Airtable. We've got more data points to use if we want to, but I was just building this for a demonstration. Um, this is much data as you could possibly need. If we go into um, Permalee here and we look at the results available. So we've got category, city, country, crunch base URL is available. Employee count, um, employee URLs, followers count, headquarters, industries, um, funding dates available. Loads and loads and loads. You can keep going and going and going. So there's lots of data available. From here, my next plan is once the website address is returned, I will then run another scenario to look for the founder. So this will run in a daisy chain. So I'll look up the company. I will enrich it. Captain Data will find the information, make or return it back to here. Once the website is pasted in, I'll have another trigger field like the enrich, but this time it will just be relying on the website with a new time. And then from here, I will have another scenario running and it will be exactly the same. It will watch the new Airtable results, but this time it's watching for website entries. And then I'll launch a workflow with Inside Captain Data. And they've got lots of um, templates if you've not used this. So let's have a look for LinkedIn. Um, where has it gone? So we could do a search for Links in job profiles, page followers, it could be useful information. Extract my LinkedIn user profile. Search LinkedIn companies. So this one would be appropriate. We could search for the company, then grab the details from that search and bring it back into Airtable. So what would be nice is I can paste in the company that I'm researching and it would enrich it, it will find the CEO and then the email address of the CEO and I'll have all of the data available. I hope you found that video interesting. If it's helped you in any way, let me know in the comments. It'd be really good. If you want another kind of video like this on another form of data, let me know. I'll make that as well. But yeah, give us a like, thumbs up, comment all about jazz. Um, yeah, chat soon. Cheers.